All right, real quick guys, this is just a seedling update. Today is the fall equinox 2022. And these are my pure American chestnuts. There's 23 of them in this bed that I put into the ground on March 15th of this year. Uh, I had cold stratified them in a Tupperware container filled with sand, a little bit of water. I kept that down uh, in my garage. And a little after Valentine's Day this year, all the, uh, most of the seeds anyway, they had sprouted. So like I said, March 15th, I planted them out here in this bed. Had a uh, problem with squirrels this year. What I ended up doing, putting this, uh, this, this cage on top of the bed, to make sure I kept all the critters out because I had also tried planting uh, some black walnuts this year and the between the chipmunks and the squirrels, they just decimated all my trees. So that was a, a hard lesson learned. So anyway, while I'm here, I wanted to show you guys a uh, burr comparison. I went out and picked a few burrs this week. These four on the left here, these are uh, pure American chestnuts. They're a little bit small this year. I'm not sure if these are fertile or not. I'm gonna have to wait until uh, they open up in a couple weeks on their own. At that point, uh, I'll give you guys a little update you know if they're uh, fertile or not but these are the Americans and this right here is a Chinese it could be a hybrid if it is it's mostly Asian genetics but the main difference you can see here the American burrs have really fine spines on the, uh, the outside of the burr you compare that with the Asian variety and the spines are a lot coarser a lot stiffer either way either burr I would recommend if you're gonna pick them up use some Kevlar gloves and just be careful because they are sharp so you can see that's uh that's the Chinese leaf still attached to it it's a little wider than the American not so long and drawn out Americans more of a, a narrow canoe shaped leaf and the top surface of the leaf is kind of a dull dull feel to it Chinese is more of a um, it's got a glossy feel and the edge of the leaves are typical on Chinese uh, chestnuts the edges of the leaves are um, usually bent in like that if you're looking at them from the top so that's just a little bit of a morphological difference between the uh, the two species. You know, they are related, but they are different enough. You know, evolved, uh, came from a common ancestor, but you know, they were separated thousands and thousands of years ago, and you know, that whole spiel. So anyway, just a little update on the chestnut seedlings. You see the, the tallest one's about two feet tall now, so very fast growing here in the open sun and uh anyway thanks for watching